Hello everybody. Today is Burns Day, uh, the day when um, we celebrate, particularly if we're in Scotland, the birthday of Robbie Burns, who was in a way one of the first celebrities. Uh, if uh, times were normal, something like nine and a half million people would be today sharing in a Burns supper. And uh, certainly uh, after the publication of his book, uh, Poems, chiefly in the Scottish dialect, he became a celebrity in Edinburgh. All the uh, well-known people um, and rich people in the, in, in the city wanted him uh, at their dinner parties because he was a celebrity one of the first of a, of a kind that we'd grown used to in our culture today. And of course, as with them, today's celebrities, so with Robbie Burns, there was another side to his life. Uh, one, one was that he, he um, had all sorts of difficult and strange relationships with, with women. He had 12 children from four different um, women uh, and frequently got into trouble with their families because of his uh, promiscuous behaviour and I, I, he, he experienced what I suppose is the uh, uh, 18th century equivalent of being pilloried by the press which was that he had to sit on the cutty stool which was the stool in the kirk where uh, a miscreant had to sit and be lectured by the a minister of the parish about his misdemeanours, uh, something which Robbie Burns had to endure as a, as a younger man. But also as a celebrity in Edinburgh after the publication of the book which brought him um, such fame and, and, and so many people wanting to have his company, he wrote to a friend of his saying that he found this gave him real pressure it, 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 it was it was too much he couldn't cope and certainly there is evidence that in his life he did drink rather more alcohol than he should that he experienced uh, depression um, and when he died at the young age of 37 he left a debt of 14 pounds, which for someone who had been so outwardly successful suggested that he wasn't very good with his money. There is, with all celebrities, a struggle. Just being a celebrity must put enormous pressure on them. And, and certainly that was Robbie Burns' experience. And so today I thought maybe I would just think about celebrities and be grateful for what they do they've brought a lot of joy into my life and I'm sure yours in this lockdown as we've enjoyed films and theatre and, and, and music but the fact that they are in the public eye with all the pressures that that brings uh, is something which I think we need to be grateful to them for because it can't be easy. So I'm going to think about them today and be grateful but I'm also going to think about myself and and wonder if if I put on a, a face towards other people, if I uh, expect other people to see me in a certain way and then put pressure on myself by trying to live up to that. Because I think actually the best thing is just to be ourselves. And one of the things about Robbie Burns was that he felt in writing, as he's the title of his poems, um, the book of poems says, chiefly, in the Scottish dialect, was that he wanted people to be able to express themselves in the language with which they felt most comfortable in an era when there was a lot of pressure, uh, particularly from academics, that people in Scotland should speak proper English. No, he said, they must speak as they wish. And I think we need to be who we are and not try and be who other people want us to be. And if we can get rid of any pressure to do that, our lives will be richer and freer, I'm sure.